Man, is there nothing that can beat the original How the Grinch Stole Christmas? That is my thoughts going into this review. Finally got to see the live action How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and it's not great. Let's talk about that. So the live action version of How the Grinch Stole Christmas is a close to two hour retelling of the original story. Not based off of the book, but actually just somewhat kind of based off the book, but also based off of the original cartoon. And it's really weird. I remember watching this movie and the night before I had wa I watched the newer cartoon version of The Grinch with my siblings. And then I watched this and I was just thinking about like, okay, so why can't they ever get The Grinch right? They're always trying to make him funny. And I was just thinking about the whole time I was watching this movie. What if they made a version of The Grinch where The Grinch was actually The Grinch? Especially this version of The Grinch, like even the newer like animated version of The Grinch. He's more of a Grinch than this. In this one, he's just a goofball. It makes no sense why they explained him as they explained in the book if it's this version of the Grinch. This Grinch is always cracking jokes. He's not the Grinch. The Grinch is supposed to be grumpy. He's supposed to be a loner. This version of the Grinch wants to always be partying. Don't get me wrong. Jim Carrey's a good actor. I like him and, and he does a great job with animated characters, but he was not a good option for playing the Grinch because he wanted to play this goofy character and the Grinch is supposed to be this grumpy, cynical, grouchy guy. He's the Grinch. The Literally the, gr the word Grinch is now used as an adjective to explain how grumpy and cynical someone is. They're, they're just like a Scrooge. It's in the same way, being called a Grinch, you called you're Grinchy. You're like Grinch. You're like acting Grinch right now. It's used as a way to to say you're acting grumpy and hating the Christmas spirit. This version of him, he hates Christmas because he was bullied on Christmas as a kid. Okay, that doesn't give a good reason, which leads me to a really important thing. Why is it that in all these remakes, they try to give him a reason for why he's the Grinch? You guys need to pick up the book. I get it, they're trying to make it longer, the story, and giving a background story might help with making it longer. But the fact of the matter is, it literally says in the book, the Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It might be because his head wasn't screwed on just right. It might be, perhaps, that his shoes were on too tight. I think the most likely reason of all, maybe because his heart was two sizes too small. That's all the reason you need. No one quite knows the reason. Those might be the reason. That's all you need. And that's what makes the Grinch so, such a great Christmas villain, is that you never know why was he quite that grouchy, that cr Grinch like and then when his redemption comes you don't it's just he figures out cr about Christmas and his heart grows that's the all the explanation you need you don't need all this oh well he was because he was bullied and this and that no you don't need that he was the Grinch because he was the Grinch it could have been genetically he was he was just a problem it might just not be a physical problem at all it might literally just be he was grumpy and he learned not to be grumpy. That's the whole thing. I will say that, and I hate to say this because the Lia, the newer Grinch movie is terrible, but I will have to say it does have one thing going for it, is that out of these two, it has the it has a better explanation to why he's grouchy, or why he hates Christmas, more than this one does. This one is stupid with its explanation. Which leads us into another big thing. Some of the stuff they added into this just, they made it so the Grinch has someone who's interested in him, which is just, no, no, please don't do that. That was really, really weird, and no, just no. One of the biggest problems they have is story-wise, right? They were trying to make this a longer movie. The way of doing it is by adding in a whole sub, a whole thing with the, the Grinch gets elected as the Year Meister of the Year. He gets to come down to there and he has an enjoyable time just partying with them. Like at first he doesn't like it, but then he seems to be having fun. He's partying with them, having a, joy, a great time. 
and then things go wrong. And that's when he decides to go and destroy their Christmas. And I was just like, first of all, just why? You just added this whole thing that made it so he already had an almost redemption and then he goes back and then they even destroy his redemption in the end. For the most part, this whole thing is really weird because then it's just this whole time when instead of being the Grinch up in the mountains who just comes down and steals Christmas, he's like hanging out with them, he's having this party, he's having a great time, and then everything goes wrong, and then he decides to just take their Christmas now. It's just like, okay, why? At that point, if I was the Grinch, I wouldn't say, oh, I need to go steal Christmas from them now. I would be like, these people need to be left alone. These people are jerks. Because that's another big problem. They make the Who's into jerks. The whole thing about the Who's are they all these sweet little creatures who are just so happy about Christmas, they don't care about presents, they don't care about anything like that, and that's how he redeemed, he gets redeemed. In this version, the Who's are capitalistic people who just, who just care about gifts, 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 gifts. And at the end, when he's at, when the Grinch actually steals the gifts, they immediately are like, uh, Boo hoo, our gifts are gone. And one of the other Who's have to explain, but we could do be about more than just the gifts, and they're like, yeah, and now we'll be happy. So they had to, re to learn to see Christmas as more than gifts, so that the Grinch- And it's just like, why couldn't you just make it so they were just people who just love Christmas, and they care only about the actual, like, spirit of Christmas, and they don't act- and they don't really care about the presents, they don't care about the gifts, and all that. But for the most part, it's- this movie is really strange with- and I will talk about in my video next week on the Polar Express about this. The problem when you take a short story and you try to make it into a two hour long movie, you have to push in a bunch of random like, stuff that's not supposed to be in there. Yeah, if you got a creative person who could really add some stuff that could really like, draw out the story more, make it better, you could. But with the Polar Express and with this, it, they, all the stuff they add, it just makes it weird. It's weird. This version is crazy. If you want to watch a really strange, weird version of how they could store Christmas, you could watch this. I don't think it's worth it, and I think out of all three of the versions of how they could store Christmas, this is probably the worst with its not understanding the story. But for the most part, this I had more fun watching this version than watching the newer animated version because this movie is fun in the craziest way possible, but it's not good. It's definitely not good. Tell me your thoughts if you guys have seen this. If you guys like it, tell me why. So, because I'm kind of curious why people would like this. Merry Christmas, everyone. This has been the Movie Night Reviewer. Peter Wary, signing off.